This is a ring from the 1970s. It's out of private collection. And this was made by an Anglo artist. His name was Wilbur Taylor. And this was a group of men that had a shop set up here in Bluff down by the Dairy Cafe. And they were making some incredible pieces of jewelry. The, they were getting some of the best turquoise that was ever mined. The 70s was a really productive time for high grade natural turquoise. And so this is Indian Mountain, natural spider web Indian Mountain, gem grade. It's really beautiful turquoise. You can see the, the matrix in it. And what it, what it is, is it has 14 karat gold here on the shank and on the bezels and on the leaves. And then on the back, they've used sterling silver, which in the 70s, um, gold was fairly reasonable, but this is not unusual for this type of jewelry you would see a gold and a silver mix. Anything that was visible, you saw they, they used gold and then on the back plate they just uh, used silver because it was less expensive, but it turned into a classic type of jewelry. It's, uh, it's kind of interesting to see this type of thing now because you can actually date, put a period on the, on the time it was created just by how it's made. But as I said, spectacular turquoise, very nice uh, goldsmithing and silversmithing, and Wilbur Taylor was the artist.